The city of Troy, with its towering walls, is under siege by the Greek forces. The scene is filled with the clamor of battle, with soldiers fighting and the Trojan defenders holding their ground. Hector, the Trojan prince and hero returns home from the battlefield. He is greeted by his wife Andromache and their young son, Astyanax, as they share a tender moment in the midst of war. Achilles, the greatest Greek warrior, sits in his tent, brooding and refusing to fight due to his quarrel with Agamemnon. His close friend Patroclus tries to console him. Patroclus, wearing Achilles' armor, leads the Myrmidons into battle to aid the Greeks. He faces Hector and is ultimately slain by him, leading to a significant turning point in the war. Upon learning of Patroclus' death, Achilles is consumed by rage and grief. He decides to return to the battlefield to avenge his friend, swearing vengeance against Hector. Achilles confronts Hector outside the walls of Troy. The two warriors engage in a fierce duel, with the onlookers from both sides watching in anticipation. Achilles defeats Hector, delivering a fatal blow. He then ties Hector's body to his chariot and drags it around the walls of Troy in a display of triumph and revenge. King Priam of Troy, Hector's father, bravely sneaks into the Greek camp to beg Achilles for his son's body. Achilles, moved by Priam's plea, agrees to return Hector's body for a proper burial. The Trojans hold a grand funeral for Hector. The scene is filled with mourning and rituals, as Hector's body is honored and laid to rest with respect and sorrow. The Greeks use the famous Trojan horse to infiltrate and finally capture Troy. The city falls into chaos as Greek soldiers pour out of the horse and attack from within.